half hour, a woman from New Hampshire is now a couple hundred thousand dollars richer after helping solve a decades old art mystery. Yeah, this is crazy. The woman bought a painting she linked she liked rather at a thrift shop in the state for just four dollars. Turns out it was an original NC Wyeth painted in Pennsylvania. Tim Furlong has the story. Um, and so probably on an easel up here. The team at the Brandywine Museum of Art, the foremost expert on the Wyeths who offer tours of NC's perfectly preserved studio. Yeah, they always wondered what happened to the original painting the NC did for a 1930s edition of Helen Hunt Jackson's novel Ramona. Well, now they know a New Hampshire woman bought it a few years back at a thrift shop for four bucks. Lot 60s, the NC Wyeth Ramona. It is just sold at auction for 191,000 bucks. Back in the spring, the seller tried to learn more about the painting, not knowing she had an original Wyeth. She posted a photo of it on Facebook. The day she posted it on Facebook, I had a number of people contacting me saying, you have to look at this page, you have to look at this post. A lot of people I know that are connected to the museum saw it and said, this one has potential. The museum actually had a photo slide of the original sketch that NC would have projected onto the canvas here in his Chad's Ford studio. The painting was signed, but the biggest clue to its authenticity might have been the canvas itself. And that's the telltale right there. NC Wyeth always used these Renaissance panels. Right up until he was killed in a car crash near his home in 1945, NC Wyeth and then his son Andrew, they painted on a very specific brand of panels made back then by an art supply company in Philly. The New Hampshire woman who owned the painting wants to remain anonymous, but her painting she just sold, yet yeah, still had the label on the back. So back in the day, the illustrators would finish their work, send it to a publishing company, and then the publishing company would print it, and then the original, well, they could do whatever they wanted with it. They could give it away, you know, whatever. That's probably how an original NC Wyeth painting slipped through the cracks and ended up in a thrift shop. An amazing and very rare feeling for the museum staff to get to change the status of an 84-year-old painting from unknown to known. Also pretty amazing to think there might be many more of NC Wyeth's illustrations still out there, so keep your art eyes open. Just make sure it's something you like, and then it doesn't matter if it ends up being worth $191,000 because it was a good investment for you. <laughs> that was Tim Furlong reporting. NC Wyeth is the father of Andrew Wyeth, who is, of course, well known here in Maine. Andrew Wyeth painted his famous Christina's World in Cushing in 1948 when he was 31 years old. It depicts the Olsen House, which is now a National Historic Landmark in Cushing. Many of his other paintings also show scenes from Maine where he lived part of the year. The original Christina's World is at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. However, the museum took it off display in 2020 to make room for other artwork. Wow. Quite, yeah, quite the shock, though. Quite the story there. No kidding. <laughs>